Serial Podcast. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Soul Material Podcast post-game show. I'm your boy, the OGEO, one half of the Soul Material Podcast crew. And on behalf of myself and my partner, T-Mark the Street Shark, we welcome you exclusively here on YouTube as we give you that sneaker business talk. And today we are going to review something we talked about here also on YouTube, the phone order era and what an era it was. And I had just an enjoyable time going through the plethora of shoes and apparel and jerseys and hoodies that I got over that time period, calling on the phone, getting stuff in the mail between USPS and UPS and FedEx on the dime it was one time i was getting like eight or nine packages a week it was that serious but if you were in tune you got your deals you got your steals and it was what it was but i wanted to prioritize one of my top five shoes of all time as opposed to giving me something that's hot right now and showing me how cheap i paid for it and so forth no what about clarity over popularity here and i believe that this model right here that is beside me this air max 95 has been not only a staple but it has been a constant throughout the community, no matter what's hot and what's popping or what's cold. The Air Max 95 has remained consistent and it remained balanced throughout the time since its original release in 1995. One of my favorite colorways of all time was retro back in 2018, the crystal blue OG colorway. And check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. We're going to do something different than we usually do because these, you already know what it is. The story is more about how I acquired them, what I did, what it meant to me, and so forth. Having a shoe that's one of your top five of all time in your possession that you can wear and enjoy, it's nothing like that feeling. Yeah, I know that. People complain about the air unit not being the same size as 9.5. I get it. But for my money, for what it's worth, they did an excellent job on these. And I'm telling you, I wear these religiously throughout the winter, the past four or five winters and falls. And these things have held up. So they're built for tough. And I'm telling you right now, you don't have to believe me. There's not been one spray or sneaker cleaner or wipe that have gone on this shoe at all. I don't baby them at all. And this is what you get. And again, me being a stickler for details, looking at the insole, worn these things how many times? And the Nike Air still shows on the insole. So again, was happy to get these. They retail for 180. They sold like hotcakes when they first dropped. Missed out on them. And I'm like, oh, then me being where I was at that time financially, I'm like 180 is kind of, oh, oh, what I'm going to do? My budget was 130. <laughs> and luckily, there was a local shop that got them in. I waited to the price drop, was able to obtain my size, called around, was able to find a store that had a size 11, gave them my name, my number, my address. My credit card over the phone. Not sure if you do that anymore. <laughs> Made sure the address or the card matched um, my billing address, which matched my mailing address. Got these in two days for one twenty nine ninety nine. Not sure if you can see that because I know the white and the black and the white in here. But they're one twenty nine ninety nine. Shit from DTLR Rhode Island Avenue and DC. Shout out to them. And you're probably saying to yourself, "Okay, fine. You got them for one thirty. They were 180. What's the big deal? When these dropped, they were easily going for 30, 40 bucks over retail. Finding my size was a hassle because people were doubling, tripling up because they know next time they were going to retro. Y'all know how it is. So to find your size and get a deal on them, and not necessarily a steal, but a deal. And if it's in your top five, it means a whole lot more to you, and especially now because let's just go to the internet and see how much these are going for. If you want to just grab a pair right now in a size 11. Let's go ahead and let that focus in and zoom in so you can see on StockX. Yeah, it's something going for right now. Last sale, the JVAC, $26. So, in the words of Martin Tegina, you may can get one shoe for $129 right now. You ain't, you ain't getting the whole set. And that's where we are. But again, top five shoe of all time. One of my favorites. Got them for the price that I had. So, again, it's about you being patient, you knowing your budget. Sticking to your guns and saying, okay, fine. If the shoe gods, if you will, be with me, I'm going to be patient and we're going to do this. There's some work that was involved. So again, having a product number, having the color code, just calling around and saying, hey, do you have a size 11? 
you mind shift them to me because back then you had employees that were hold shoes, so forth. They didn't know sometimes they were on sale because they wouldn't have a markdown on the wall. Find out they was on sale through you on the phone. Be like, oh, no, we ain't got them. And they'll go and grab the shoe themselves. You know, so it's what it is. I'm happy, still happy. And the thing about these that are really, really detailed that I like, the tag on them say 516 18. 516 is my birthday. So it lets you know how the shoe gods, sneaker gods, if you will, work out. So I would never get rid of you because my birthday is on the dog on production tag. Who would have known? That still flips me out till this day. Favorite shoe of all time. Acquired for a little bit cheaper than retail. Still holding up. Sold out. Was able to get them. And back then, that's what it was all about. You have your skills. You have your deals. But sometimes it's just about acquiring things on your budget whenever it came about and striking. And again, being polite to folks over the phone and being polite back to you. The customer service during this time was just great. This was like the latter part of it right before the pandemic hit and so forth. But hey, got my Air Max 95s. They're still intact. Still wear these like crazy. The quality is still nuts on these. And it's what it is. So again, art of acquisition. It is your boy, the OGEO. And it's about that phone or the error. If you know, you know, you better ask somebody. And it was just a great time to be alive. So until next time, it's your boy, the OGEO. Peace to you. And I'll catch you on the rebound.